Hi, I'm Jonathan Burns. Hi, I'm Mickey. We're with Tallahassee Nurseries and we want to show you something really different and unique. Uh, the plant in front of us is called Miracle Fruit or Miracle Berry. It does something really weird. To get us started, Mickey's going to start chewing on a couple fruits. Um, <laughs> you'll see why in a moment. Uh, this is a, a, a tropical plant. You want to grow it in a pot in our area. It is not cold hardy at all. Keep it in a container, protect it in the winter time. Other than that, it doesn't have a lot of tricky issues. Just, just keep it protected from the cold. Um, the fruit, once chewed, causes everything sour and acidic to taste sweet. This is nonsense, right? This can't possibly be true. Uh, I have tried it, otherwise I wouldn't believe it. I did not believe it for a super long time, but it's real. Um, there's a, a compound in it that attaches to molecules. I'm not going to try to explain all of it, but it changes how proteins and other molecules attach to your taste receptors. and everything sour tastes sweet. The major thing to test is lemons and limes. It's, it's such a, a clear difference, but you can do a lot of other fruits, pineapple, um, some more subtle foods, anything with acidity to it. It's really interesting. <laughs> so you think you got that chewed up pretty well? Ready. Definitely mixed around. Okay. So I'm going to be our control group right now. We've got a, uh, a lemon here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I have not chewed on it. So we're going to see what happens here. Yeah, that is a lemon. It's extremely sour. It's not killing me, but it is not enjoyable to just bite into that thing. So, uh, Mickey, ooh, let's see, um, let's see what it tastes like. Oddly sweet. Yeah. <laughs> any sort of weirdness? Any descriptions? Just very palatable. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. could, you could just go at that. A little bit of like cotton candy. <laughs> Okay, that was my Good. thought as well before. We're gonna try a, a lime. Just see, maybe that lemon was weird. I don't know, maybe it was. All right, we got some lime action here. Yeah, it's kinda keeps, keeps getting better. Yeah, all right, lime. That one is really sour. I'm not loving it. Kind of a, <sighs> a zippy taste. You know, I'm, uh, I'm missing out here. Sour. I'm just gonna go for it now. I don't know if you can do this, chew it while you're doing the other stuff. Oh, you know what? Yeah, you can. Yeah, right away. Every, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sour mouth just went sweet real quick. Yeah, that's good. Mmm. Um, mm -hmm. wants it to be sour, but. That's where it's at. Yeah, the first time I did this, I still had, uh, my nose was peeling up, you know, because the acidity from it, but it didn't taste sour. Cotton candy, absolutely. I'm super getting like citrus cotton candy, better yeah, than an orange. It's good. Mm. There's actually some um, conspiracy theories that the sugar industry banned miracle fruit from um, foods in the United States because it would have allowed people to make foods without sugar in it that would taste just as sweet. So there's this whole conspiracy in the 70s. Um, food manufacturers want to start using this to make foods taste sweet without all the calories from sugar and the sugar industry, big sugar, went after them and uh, sure. you know, I don't know if people died, I don't know, maybe they did, no one knows. I believe it. So, <laughs> I, this doesn't even taste weird, you know, artificial sweeteners have a very delicate palate, not gonna, you know, that's no, just a fact. Not, it doesn't taste artificial sweeteners all. are gross, but this is not gross at all. Yeah. Mm. That's good. I'm gonna keep working on this, my stomach might regret it later because, you know, it's still acidic, but um, this tastes really good. <laughs> Yeah, it's great. <laughs> so we got some Miracle Fruit. Come on in. Try it. Uh, it's a party trick your friends aren't going to forget soon.